This is a Lattice FPGA evaluation board and uh, it comes with um, a bunch of Lattice tools if you want to use those but thanks to the people over at Project iStorm you can now run an open source tool chain to compile Verilog uh, for this FPGA so you get a Verilog compiler and all the tools to download it onto the FPGA. What better thing to do with an open source toolchain than to build an open source CPU for it and run some open source software on it. Here it is. So here is the Verilog code for the CPU. This is a um, 16-bit J1 CPU not a big um, piece of Verilog and I already had it compiled so all I'm going to do is send it down to the hardware and there we go that was the download it's all set and then connect to it. So this is the J1 that's running on the FPGA and it's running Swapforth which is a small fourth implementation. It takes about 5k total uh, which gives an interactive development environment. Here I'm running a shell on the PC. All it does is send commands back to the UART and does some other housekeeping things. Everything you see here is running on the FPGA itself. It's a fourth and find out what its symbols are. Uh, this particular hardware version is hooked up to the LEDs. So, for example, I can switch them on and switch them off. If I'm ambitious, I can make a little word here count 32, send the counter to the LEDs, delay for a tenth of a second. So now I've made a new word blink. If I run it, there you go. Got some other demos. Here is an Easter calculation demo. And looking at the available words, we've now got a new word dot Easter, which will tell us when the date of Easter is in 2016. Amazing. So this board is uh, hooked up to the UART, it's got the LEDs hooked up, it also has the uh, pin header here connected, and we plug a probe in onto that header, you can then make, let me free up some memory. an infinite loop and the pin header is on port number two. So I'll write a zero to it, then write a one to it and just repeat indefinitely. And that's made a new word toggle and I can execute it. There you see nice clean square wave, um, 1 megahertz. So it's a 12, the CPU is running on a 12 megahertz clock and it takes 12 cycles to execute that loop total. Uh, so you get 1 megahertz as a square wave. That's uh, open source software stack running on an open source CPU built using open source tools for the first time on an 
FPGA. Thanks very much.